The U.S. Patent Office has approved a patent for Dr. Colin Ross's I-beam detection device. What is an I-beam detection device? Well, it just might pave the way for development of a new generation of devices controlled by the human electromagnetic field that each of us has. Dr. Colin Ross is a noted psychiatrist and author. He has written 150 papers in professional journals, as well as 23 books. Now, with his patent approved, Dr. Ross is embarking on a new science and medicine focused on the human body's electromagnetic field. First of all, there is a signal. You can pick it up. You can measure it scientifically. It's hard numbers. And it's physiologically active. It's not just some sort of noise. It's actually varying with the state of your brain as the general signal coming through your skull does. This EEG illustrates the difference between the energy that comes from the skull, depicted in the top two lines, versus the energy from the eye, the bottom line, which is the eye electrode. Despite not making contact with anything, it closely resembles the two forehead electrodes in pattern. The third line from the top shows background energy and the subject's pulse. So if your brain waves come out through your skull, why on earth would they not come out through your eye? Of course they would. And since they don't have to come out through your skull, they're likely to be a little bit stronger, just because your skull is going to absorb some of the signal. Maybe because of the shape of your skull, maybe because there's this big nerve cable right there, your optic nerve, and maybe because of conscious attention and focusing. For all those reasons, maybe the signal's a little stronger, which it turns out it is. In his book, Human Energy Fields, Dr. Ross explains his belief that the sense of being stared at was naturally selected for during predator-prey interactions. This new technology makes it possible to scientifically study the sense of being stared at for the first time. The idea that I feel somebody staring at me, I turn around, I look right at them, they look right at me, we share a look of recognition, and everybody almost has had that experience. According to Western science though, absolutely impossible. It's just random coincidence. No energy of any kind is allowed to come out of your eye. And Western science is absolutely like locked down on this because there's two theories of vision. One is the theory of intromission, where light goes into your eye, hits your retina, goes back into your brain, which obviously is true and obviously is going on. The other is the theory of extromission, which goes way back into the ancient world, and that is that some kind of energy comes out of your eye and interacts with the outside world. And that's what's disallowed. So since that's not allowed, there's no possibility of picking up somebody staring at you. And I basically said to myself, wait a minute, number one, I've had the experience, Lots of people have had the experience. It sure seems real. And then thinking, well, okay, what kind of energy could that be? And finally I figured out, well, there's a type of energy that does come out through your skull. That's your brain waves. Dr. Ross's device can detect brain waves emitted through the eye using an electrode that makes no physical contact with the body. He calls his invention an electromagnetic beam detection system. The result of his discovery that the eye emits electromagnetic energy that he calls an eye beam. It's absolutely scientifically possible that this energy could go out into the world quite a long distance, interact with things out there and in a way that can be measured. Indeed, Dr. Ross plans to develop a prototype device that can detect a human stare from a few feet away, with the expectation that within a few years, he'll be able to make it sensitive enough to detect a human stare from across the room. And he says that's just the start. At very low frequencies, such as zero to 60 hertz, which is hertz is one cycle per second, which is the level that brain waves are measured at. Down at that ELF level, it, the signal doesn't drop off with distance at all. In fact, at a thousand kilometers, there's literally very little drop off in the signal. And he guarantees that in the not too distant future, his patent will be used to detect the energy from the human eye at least 30 feet away. The reason I say I guarantee yes is because uh, a bunch of uh, electrical engineers at the University of Surrey in England already have published papers where they're taking an EKG from three feet away. Absolutely normal, one that you would see in a hospital. And once you can do it three feet away, you just have to get a little bit more sensitive software and electrode and you can do it six feet away. If you can do it six feet away, you can do it 20 feet away. And if you can do it with the heart signal, you can do it with the brain signal. If an astronaut on the moon can maintain radio communication with the Earth, why the heck can't your brain waves go 30 feet out in the world and be felt by somebody else? 
So as soon as you switch it out of kind of the mystical outside science paranormal compartment into the hold on, this is just another electromagnetic signal. It's kind of like a cell phone signal. It becomes normal, scientific, testable, measurable. The vision is that once developed, there is no limit to what the energy from the human stare will be able to do. If you have an electrode over here, whether it's five feet or 20 feet, and it's sensing the general field that comes out through your skull, and then if I turn and look directly at the electrode, if the software can sense the difference in signal, because the eye beam signal is a little stronger, as long as there's enough of a gap and the software is sensitive enough, that's an on-off switch, because the software will be able to tell when you are looking at it and when you aren't looking at it. Once that's developed, that switch could be connected to any electrical device on the planet. As with other major inventions, this one has detractors. But Dr. Ross expects to be on the right side of history. Here we have a primitive superstition that's impossible scientifically. People think they can tell somebody's staring at them. We just laugh it off as scientists. I've turned that into just like a clapper light, except instead of sound, it's the electromagnetic signal, which is absolutely no different from going in your garage door opens or going and somebody answers the phone on the other side of the country. It's absolutely as scientific 